Okay, um, I'm going to talk about weathering erosion and the development of sediments, um, which will lead to sedimentary rock. Um, try to follow along with me. This is the first time I'm drawing with uh, a scrib link for a video instead of a PowerPoint, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so here we have, we'll start with kind of a mountain range, and at the edge of the mountain range, it'll lead to a body of water. And so I'll draw my body of water. Hope you can tell what's going on here with my drawing. And then um, we have a cloud here. And over years and years, and we're going to have precipitation continually pounding on this rock. And so what happens over time, the rock wears down and it breaks apart into smaller pieces. And these smaller pieces are called sediments. This is the hard part. Sediments. Oop. There we go. And these sediments are just smaller pieces of rock worn down by the the rain or snow or whatever. You know, there's a lot of causes for this type of weathering. And then eventually this water, every time it rains, is gonna flow down to its lowest point and you will usually find a place at a in a body of water so these um, little pieces of rock these little sediments are going to flow with the water and find its way down in the body of water and they'll collect at the bottom and create a layer of sediments and then over time um, maybe another layer will develop and we have a second layer. And then over time, let's do one more. Uh, get a different color here. Let's do yellow. And we have a third layer. Okay, so now we have three layers of sediment laying down at the bottom of this body of water. And if we look back at what happened here, um, over here we have um, the rain breaking down the rocks. This part would be the weathering part. weathering, All right, breaking down of rock into smaller pieces, creating sediments. Here, the movement of these sediments, where it's traveling from one place to another, this would be the term erosion. Oops, I'll do erosion. Okay, and then here where these little sediments finally settle down, into this spot at the bottom of this body of water. This would be an example of deposition. I -O -N. So here we have weathering, uh, the breaking down of rock, erosion, the uh, movement of the sediments, and then deposition where the sediments settle down at the bottom of uh, a body of water. So there you have it. Uh, the next video we'll talk about we'll talk about these sediments and how they form into sedimentary rock. All right, thanks for watching.